Okay, so um, I greet and today we are moving on to our next section in Java and this time around we'll be focusing on arrays, arrays and if there is more time, I mean, you look at other topics as well. So let's try and then understand arrays. So as usual, we know we need to grab hold of our notes pad, and this is what we did in our last section. Um, okay. This is what we did in our last section. So we understand that uh, we understood that time that uh, variables are basically space or containers in memory that we kind of like use in storing a single data so that space reserved needed to be declared with a certain data type and also with a reference name so this time around we'll be using the same approach as in still considering a space in memory and then we kind of like store data but this time around we'll be dealing with an array so those of you who were in plt class we talked about what an array is and i'm going to repeat it again as in array is basically a container like variables but array stores more than one value more than one value gives you the ability to store more more values but of what a single data type of the same data type so let's say for example how do we first of all create an array we create an array and uh, uh sorry variable we create a variable by specifying the data type right that's what we do and here my data type is string is string okay and then space and then from there i have to give it a name right so here i'm going to call this uh names okay names names so these are the names so therefore typically looking at this we all know this is what a variable right so that this one here is the reference name or the space name and this is the data type as in the data that goes into this particular name is supposed to be what it's supposed to be names and the type is supposed to be strengths okay now how different is an array declaration from a variable the difference is like this it's when we make use of a square bracket you make use of a square bracket okay so the moment you bring in this this is now an array this is a variable this is an array this is a variable so looking at this one here so we have a variable called name and then we have an array which is called names whereas in names grab hold of more data and name would only store just a single data value so this is not all for the declaration in array what we need to do here is also kind of assigned okay because it's an, an array we need to assign by using what we call new by using what we call new and then the next thing is that you repeat the data type that we declared previously that is the string okay which is this string this string here must match up with this one here that's what i mean okay the string that we see here which is this one is supposed to match up with this so we have a string we have a string so whatever type you bring in here has to be the same as this so when i even change this one to int okay to int then this would also have to change to int okay so int int but because we are dealing with strings then 
we need to make use of what strengths okay now when we do this because we say we said that uh, arrays contains more than one value then we are supposed to bring in another square bracket here by stating in the size that we want to allocate so here we are going to say that okay we created an array called names and then we want it to contain about let's say three names okay three names starting from zero to two so it counts like this zero one two zero is one one is two and two is three so that's how we count the three so starting from zero to two and it's three okay that is for this one that is the string here okay so therefore it means that this one here goes for only one and this is like what's having three space or three values so after the declaration the next thing is that let's do something here with a name you can just put as or assigned you see these two here are declarations these are the two declarations this is for a variable this for an array so looking at this one here name because it's a string i just have to type in the name straight okay so this is rich that richard that i typed in here don't forget your semicolon and then the next thing is that so i'm going to print that out okay i'm going to print that out that is um system dot out dot print line okay print line system dot out dot print line with name and we all know it's clear now so what are we printing we are printing name and what is inside name is richard richard is what is inside the name so now let's go for our cmd and then let's change the directory to the desktop and then also change the directory to java d that is where i have my file then now we can compile now okay so java c that is for the compiling and then first of all i said is what the file name the file name my file name is what jd dot what java that is my file name jd dot java so enter and then if there is no error it will run perfectly for me and then i'll move on my address an error it will stop so voila there is no error okay and then we move on to our next section this is where we would have to move on to the runtime by running it and then enter and then what happens is it says what cannot find the main method the main method yes cannot find the main method class cannot find the main method class okay so now you're seeing it and it's because of the name this is capital g and this one here is lowercase g so that's what causes one to change it to upper then we have that so yes it's working now so it's giving us it's giving us alex now and uh it's supposed to be alex no it's not supposed to be alex it's supposed to be richard richard okay so be guessing what do you think we need to do to correct it just get something I didn't save the file yes so now it's giving us Richard now I didn't save the file so now it's saying the Richard so that is for the variable okay now let's look at how to assign value to the array 
so assigning value to the array this time around it's an array and then we have like three spaces now so what we need to do is first of all you type in names that's the name okay so names and then don't forget the array symbol that is the square bracket and then zero so zero here the first thing that we do is we are assigning in the space zero of the array richard okay or rich let me end it with rich okay and then also the next thing here is with the second space in the array we kind of like giving it another name that is springs and then also the last will be which is the space 2 will be num1 okay so now we have these three spaces assigned and then I have to save it everything you do don't forget to save it so therefore uh, what well this one here printing it out now this all these things that we see is the three spaces here so we said in the space zero of the array storage in the space one of this array and then put in what prints and then also in the space two of this and I'm saying it's three because the counting start from one two three one two three okay that is how the counting start from so it is not one two three from zero one and two that makes up for the space um three so if i want to print out number one all what i need to do is go for my square brackets and then type in number two so this is going to print what number one let's save it and see okay so it's saved so as it's saved we all know what to do we have to recompile you have to recompile and it's telling us some error why because there is no semicolon so I have to go back and then see it and then uh, play my screen again and then compile so when you compile you have it now okay when you compile you have that now so that's what we are seeing and there's no error okay and then we run it now so we are expecting to see number one that's number one yes perfect and then if i want to print everything then i have to have three outputs even though i can use the concatenation but i'll be going one by one like that so that you can see what happens so the zero will get printed the one will also get printed and then the two okay so um still clear screen compile then it's compiling fine then it printers all the three okay that is one two for those of who are thinking that why not three and what will happen when it's three i'm going to just do that and for you to see the error that will pop up so this is the third one so now we have three now some will be like okay now we have three now okay the moment you save it and then um you even compile i think you kind of like going to have error on a compilation okay there's no error on compilation now let's check the runtime so yes this is a runtime error it's telling us that array index out of bounds exception so that is the number three and it says that the index this one is out of the box is out of the declaration instead of giving us three boxes now it's giving us four boxes and this is the box four this is the box four so it is not appropriate to use one two three but always starting from zero one and two that makes it three this is for an array this is an array and this is what we call the single dimensional arrays yes of course sometimes you can also declare an array without the size declaration without the size declaration 
so let's look at another example without the size declaration so what i'm going to do is um let's have another array down here and i'm going to clear off the size so this is an array declared and we don't know the size all what we need to do is we just have to bring in this curly brace okay so with a curly brace like that now i can put in a string a like it can be a name but i just want to put in a and then comma another string that i'll be calling it b okay so therefore i have only two but there's no space okay there's no size declared as this one which is saying three so what does that mean so with that what it means is that oh sorry it's telling is telling us that the name is already declared so let me just do it n so it's compiled and then runs okay so that is for a three here this one's because we are printing this three that's why it's given as that but we can print out these ones as well but we didn't specify any size okay we just typed in three for this but here there's no number of boxes that is reserved so all what we need to do we can still assess them yes we can still assess them the name is what n so n square so this time around when you type in zero it's going to give us a it's going to give us a so it says a okay so when you type in one okay so one is also going to give us b okay so the more i type in or assigned values i'm going to call this bag okay that is for that and i'm going to assess it and that should be number two so save and then also what will happen here next is let me clear the screen compile and then run and that is also giving us back okay so that is an array so you can choose to declare the size or you can choose to assign them and as in when you assign the values the size also gets declared automatically so it depends on the value for the size declaration code you can go by that style or by this style this is what we call single dimensional array we have multi-dimensional arrays multi-dimensional arrays let's see how the multi works with the multi-dimensional arrays what is happening here is that it looks like a table it looks like a table okay so i'm going to copy this and paste it looks like a table but that is kind of like an array like okay so with that one instead of a single box now we'll be making use of for two boxes two square brackets that's what we'll be making use of two square brackets so here says that okay the first one is for the row the second one is for the column so we have three rows and then let's say two columns three rows two columns three rows two columns and then with this one also we can choose to assign value now let's look at how to assign values to them it says like the first one uh, okay just like the first one so what you need to do is this time i'll give it two boxes so square brackets two square brackets here because the exercise declared all what you need to do is just use the name instead of using the data type so you clear this and then you go for this okay so that's what you do so we have the num here and then this time around i am I'm, I'm saying that i need this zero 
zero. Now, do you know what? I said I've created what? Three rows and two columns. I'm going to use Word to create that for you to see. This is Word 2016. Okay. This is Microsoft Word. And with Microsoft Word, let's create tables. So I said three rows and then two columns. This is how it looks like. So when I say zero, 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 zero is pointing to this side. This side is the zero, zero. This side is zero slash zero is this side. And then still in, so this is what? Row zero, column zero. And then still on row zero, but this time around the column is column one and then we are in row one by column zero row one and then this is column one okay and then this is row two and then we are still in the column zero and then this time around row two but the column here is also column one so this is row one uh, column one here this is column one i uh, sorry column zero and then column one column zero and column one row zero row one row two okay so that is how it looks like so you can use that to compare just look at it here i'm saying that the row zero column zero and that is going to be the first section here so that is what i'm going to assign something to it so what i'm signing in here is because it's a string what i'm putting here is let's say first name i'm putting in first name okay so this is first name and then also I'm going to assign another one to this side zero one and that is going to call that's going to be last name okay so I have first name and last name so like that okay so that is okay that's about it I mean you get the idea so the more you want to put things in the various boxes you just have to continue with it like that using the addresses or the references like what i have here you just have to picture that in mind and then you get it done so same way if you want to print it all what you need to do is this is num and then you go for zero and then also square bracket bracket again and then zero so it means that i'm printing the first box that is what it means so you save it and then compile there's no error run okay so zero zero is giving us what the first name and the first name is what is in the zero zero and then zero one here is going to print as which is compile and then it will print as last name here so that is about it and that is how arrays work okay so arrays are kind of like what having the capability to store more than one value compared to an a, a variables and in arrays we have what we call the single dimensional and then the multi-dimensional arrays you can choose to do the, the size declaration like this or you can choose to assign them directly so as and when you put in values then the size gets created we can even do the same thing for this one here let's let's do it let's do it so that you see how it works okay so doing that with a direct assignment okay so we assume that we have no size declaration so all what you need to do is you bring your curly brace like that and there's another curly brace inside it so you bring comma another curly brace comma 
another Kelly Briggs. And you let me end it here. So those Kelly braces that we see in the parent Kelly brace is so these are sub to this particular one. So it means they are rows. So this tells us that we have three rows. We have three rows. So in here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in rich for this. Okay, and it's a string. And then I'll type in and here. It's also a string. So these are the column values in it. And then I can type in another one, Alex. These are strings. And then um, I'm going to give it, let's say, as. Okay. And then also Isaac. And then comma then oh, okay so for you to get a picture right I'm going to format it in a table form for you to see it like that okay so this one will give us a table view so which says that we have what three rows and two columns so this is the parent of what the red ones are the parent and then we have these blue ones in it being that, that is representing the rows so if you want to print something like this out okay if you want to let me change the reference to any or do i have any okay so any and then this one here will also be any okay so we said we want a a zero one looking at it i said this one represent the row the first one represent the row the second one represent the column so this is row zero so row zero column one which is this one this side is column one so i'm expecting the end printing that's my expectation so save go back to this side clear and then what you need to do is you kind of like what compile yeah uh this expected uh, semicolon right okay that's the nature of programming okay so compile run it says cannot yes 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 sure 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 because of the names i mean they are supposed to be capital d and all those that capital g okay so compiling and then run okay so yes that's what is given is the end so if i need this one who can guess yes i'm giving it some few seconds guessing it what should be the address three two one zero okay so it's zero one two that is this so it means the row section is supposed to be two and then the column is because i need this one zero so row two column zero so isaac will print isaac will print so you need to compile first compiling and then run and isaac should that is an array for a direct assignment and also declaring the size before using it and this is how we handle arrays so this is a video on array so now you know how to you understand variables now you understand arrays now you can also print by using print line print f which is the print format and then also just the print okay so that is just about that this is on 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 arrays so don't forget you can now declare arrays means that you can store one value in a single container that is called variable and also can store more values into a single container which is of a single type 
and that is what um an iris so uh, my 30 minutes is up and i'll be ending the class now thank you and have a nice day bye bye